Personalized coffee mugs are definitely a hot seller on Etsy. Just look at some of these examples with different dog breeds, some of which are making hundreds of sales every single month. In this video, I'll show you an easy method for you to sell your own personalized mugs on Etsy as well, using a combination of AI and my designs. I'm going to walk you through how to create the initial designs, setting up the print file, creating the listing data in bulk, the mock-ups in bulk, and also publishing all of your designs to Etsy in bulk. The first thing you will need for this process is a My Designs account. And if you haven't signed up to them already, I will leave a link to their website in the description. All you have to do here is click on Get Started for Free and sign up to a free account with your name and email address. However, I will warn you, if you want to sell personalized print on demand products, you will need to have an active paid subscription. And if you do want to sign up to that, I've got a discount code PA25, which will give you 25% discount. Once you've logged into your My Designs account, the first thing you need to do is head over to the listings tab, then click on home, which will open up the collections system. This essentially holds the different folders where you're going to save your designs for different niches, different topics. And what you need to do now is click add folder right here to create a new one and give this a relevant name. Then you want to click add new folder, select it from the menu and open it up. Now you've essentially got two options for creating your designs. You can either create them externally with Midjourney, Dali 3 or your design tool of choice and then upload those designs with the upload button right here. Just drag and drop all of the PNGs into this field and get them imported into your collection. Option number two would be to create the designs within my designs. You can do this with the Dream AI feature, for example, which has two AI art generators built in, one of them being Dali 3, the other one is STXL 1.0. So that is the method I'm going to show you in this video. As you can see, I've got a prompt ready right here to create these dog images for our coffee mugs and you can do it for different breeds. So I will leave this prompt in the description down below. All you have to do is copy my settings right here and then essentially adjust the dog breed. You can use ChatGPT to look up a list of you know popular dog breeds and swap this out. For example, I could now change this from Golden Doodle to French Bulldog and then hit Dream and that is going to create two new images based on that prompt. You can also hit Dream again and it's going to create an extra two and then you can change the breed to something else. Usually creating four images is good enough with this method, at least I found that. So now I could try Siberian Husky right here and hit Dream again. Let's do that twice and there we go. The first results are already back. Those definitely look pretty cool and some of these are usable. This one in the top left, not so much, but others are fine. Quite like these Husky results as well on the right. Sometimes you're going to have them bleed off the edge, but you know, that's just the nature of AI. It's not always going to be perfect, um, but some of the images that come out will be usable. Once you've got a decent list of results, the next step is going to be saving the best looking images to your collection. And we can do that by just clicking on the image that we like and then hitting save to listings in the top right corner. You can leave everything at the default, just make sure the right collection is selected. And then at the bottom, change this to main file and hit save to listings. And you essentially want to do this for all of the uh, dog breeds, like the favorite image that you have for them. Just save that one to the collection and then then we'll move on to the next step. Now you need to head back to the listings tab where you will find all of the graphics that you've just saved. You can also change this to grid view, which will show you all the designs at a glance. And before we can actually fill in this listing data and create the mockups, we need to increase the quality and remove the background from these graphics. By the way, I'm doing this with 22 images at once, but you can actually do it with up to 120 at the same time. So the entire process that I'm showing you now with upscaling, creating the listings, mockups and publishing, you can do that with up to 120 listings at the same time. But in this case, let's start off by clicking select all and then heading to all actions and remove background. So that'll be our first step. Uh, make sure to change the output file slot to main file because we just want to overwrite this and then click remove background. This is going to cost you credits, which uh, you do get some credits included in your My Designs subscription. If you end up running out of the credits, you can purchase extra ones right here. Or alternatively, if you wanted to, you could also use an external upscaler or background remover. 
and then bring the files back into here. I've got multiple videos on my channel reviewing and testing different free alternatives, by the way. And this job's just been added to the queue. It's usually very, very quick. There you go. As you can see, the background has been removed very accurately. And now we'll move on to upscaling. So go back to all actions, upscale image, and then same thing, just change the output file slot to main file. So we can just override that again, because you don't need the low quality version, hit upscale, and yes, override all files, wait for this to finish. And then we can start setting up the print file. Next up, you need to click on template and add a new file slot, I'm going to call this print file, then click the plus symbol and save changes in the top right corner, update template. And now we're ready to create the print file. Make sure you've got everything selected right here and then open up the canvas system. This is essentially like a mini Photoshop that you can use in bulk to adjust the placement and the sizing of these designs all in sync, all in bulk at the same time, which I'm going to show you in a second. First of all, you need to head over to templates and find the product you want to sell. In this case, I'm going to type in mug and choose the accent coffee mug 11 ounce. For this example, now we've got the correct dimensions that we need for the print provider, if we want to print this mug, and you also get some indicators at the bottom right here for the print area that you're currently affecting. So if your design is placed along this line right here, then it's going to print on the right hand side of the mug or to the right of the handle. If your design was in the middle, it would print on the front of the mug, which I don't really recommend. I'd, I'd recommend placing your designs both on the left side right here and on the right side. In order to do that, click on add listing file, change the input file slot to main file and hit add to all. And as you can see, that's now actually imported every single design into a separate document right here. And if I move this dog over to the left, right click on it and sync, then it's going to apply that same placement to all of the other designs as well in bulk. So this is really, really powerful to quickly make changes to all of your designs. What I'm going to do now is resize this, make it quite a bit smaller and align this dog towards the bottom because what we want essentially is a bit of space along the top to add the text for the dog's name. So once this is done, I'll sync it once again. And then I'm going to hit control C on my keyboard and control V to paste another version of this dog onto the canvas and move this over to the right to make sure to align it properly over here as well. And then I'm going to sync this version as well. As you can see in the other files, it's also applied that same sizing and placement. Sometimes you might have to go through and make some minor adjustments on the other files. Like if you wanted to move this dog down a bit, you can still do that, of course, and just not sync it that way. It only applies to this design. Now we can move on to add the text, which we can do by heading over to the text tab on the left, click add text, and then you want to move this up above the dog's head. I'm going to type right here dog's name and I will change the font to this one called Kalam because that's a bit more of a handwritten font and looks quite neat. I'll actually increase the size of this. You can do that with the font slider at the top. And then as you can see, it's broken the text into two lines, but we can just draw out this box. And there we go and place that in the middle. And we can also do it in capitals like so. That stands out a little bit more. And now I'm going to do the same like before, right click and sync. As you can see, that's added it to the other files as well. And now we can do control C, control V, add that over here and sync it to the rest of the designs too. So that was a really quick way to prepare all of these print files in bulk. And the last thing to do is now just click on save, make sure to enable save as editable. That way we can actually sell these as personalized designs. So if you've missed this step, then you're going to struggle later on. So make sure this is enabled and looks blue and then hit save down here. Now, in order to create these listings in bulk, we can use AI as well to speed up the process. Make sure you've got everything selected and then click on Vision AI. You want to first of all change the product type to Mug, which is at the bottom right here. The platform should be Etsy. These fields can stay at the default. And then I want to also enable product features because if we type our exact product into here, Accent Coffee Mug 11 ounce, it's going to add those product features to the AI description as well. And we can also give this custom instructions. This is a bit like a chat GPT prompt. So you could, for example, say add relevant emojis to the description 
only. We don't want emojis in the title or in the tags for that matter. So this looks quite good, except the input file slot. This is very important. We need to change this from main file to print file, because then it's also going to consider that this says dog's name and pick up that it is a personalized product. Let's click on generate listing data. Yes, run Vision AI. It's going to add the job to the queue. And within a few seconds or a couple of minutes, depending on how many listings you have, you will have your title tags and description filled in. So here we go. That only took a minute. And as you can see, the AI managed to identify that this is a Rottweiler. This is a Beneath Mountain Dog, an Australian Shepherd. So very accurate. And we've got a Corgi down here. It also says custom, personalized, like it's added some really good relevant keywords. The tags typically turn out really good as well. And if we look at one of these descriptions, you've got a bunch of text up here to describe the design and the listing. And at the bottom, you will see the product features. This gets you about 80, 90% there. Sometimes you might still have to make some changes to these listings, remove some tags or replace some of them. Or obviously you could flesh this description out a little bit more and make it longer, add more details to it. I've got a separate video where I show you how to write some more in-depth descriptions using chat GPT. So you can check that out. It will be linked in the cards. Now let's go ahead and create some mock-ups for all of these listings at the same time. Once again, make sure they're all selected. Click on the mock-ups feature up here and then create image mock-ups to begin with. I'll show you the video mock-ups later on as well. Um, but for the image mock-ups, we need to change the category from clothing to drinkware right here. And then I'm going to type in at the top where it says search mock-ups accent 11 ounce. Let's try that. Is it going to filter out the right ones? Yes, it is. Great. So we can click on the first one over here and then change this to multi product at the top. This way we can actually generate multiple mockups for all of the listings in bulk, which is a very powerful feature. I'm going to just select a few of these that I like the look of. As you can see, they've all been added to the top right here. You can flick through them and then adjust the mug color. This will essentially be the accent color. So if you wanted this to be blue, like in the preview, then you need to click on product related colors and we're going to use district photo to print these because they have more color options so you could just click on this light blue option um, let's go to another one of these mock-ups maybe in this example we want to show off the red in this example the pink and i think you get the gist go through these adjust the color settings you could generate a preview as well if you want to there we go that looks pretty neat and then once you're ready hit generate mock-ups in the top right corner there we go that was about 140 mock-ups generated in less than than two minutes and you can flick through them by double clicking on any of these image slots right here that will actually bring up the mock-up for each listing you can double check that you're happy with them and then a bonus tip right here is that you can also use your static mock-ups to use a video mock-up slideshow so i'll quickly show you that as well make sure once again everything is selected then head over to mock-ups click on create video mock-up and essentially deselect your print file your main file and make sure only the mockups are selected that you want to include in this video. For the output file slot, ideally you want to have the video mockup slot selected and then we can click submit. And there we go. If I preview one of these videos now, then you're going to see a quick slideshow of the different mockups matched together and that's going to automatically play if someone hovers over your listing on Etsy. Now we've come to the final stage of this tutorial, which is publishing all of these listings that we've created to Etsy in bulk. And the good thing is, whilst this takes like five or six minutes to begin with, we can save a publishing profile at the end of all of these steps. And if applied in future, that publishing profile will save us about 90% of the time. So yeah, let's go ahead and select all listings and then click publish listings in the top right corner and choose products. I'm going to change the category over here to drinkware mugs and then go to pick a product. We choose the accent coffee mug 11 ounce and district photo as the production partner. Swift PD is slightly cheaper right here for the printing cost, but they only have dark blue, red and pink available, which, you know, from my experience, light blue and black are some of the most popular colors. So don't really want to miss out on those. So choose district photo. And then we come to selecting our mockups and the colors that we want to sell. First thing to do is actually click on all of these colors that are available. That way they will be available in our listing as well. And then I'm going to hide all of the preview mockups that will be generated at the moment right here by clicking on this eye symbol. Now we can scroll down 
down and just add our own mockups that we generated beforehand. So let's click through these right here. The video mockup does not have to be at the start, by the way, for it to show up in search results and automatically start playing. But now we've got all of our designs right here, or all of our mockups added to the listing. You can drag these around to change the order if you wanted to. And by the way, you can also add an additional product. So if you wanted to offer more than one mug, you can search for it in here. Accent, you can add the 15 ounce if you so desire. I'll just show you this as an example. So district photo, I'll click on this. I think the print file or the print dimensions are very, very similar here. So you don't really have to adjust it. But if you want to double check, you can click on the canvas system. And there you go. I mean, this looks pretty much the same as the other one. It's slightly off to the top, so you could drag it down and then hit sync for it to apply that to all of the other designs as well. Hit save. And then it's a matter of selecting these colors as well that you want to offer for sale hide the automatically generated mockups and then we're going to move over to the choose pricing stage right for the 11 ounce mug i'm going to replace the prices with 24.99 and hit apply that gives us enough of a profit to offer a discount on etsy or free shipping cheaper shipping whatever you want to do and then i will also delete this prefix because it makes it quite messy. This is what customers will see on Etsy when selecting the color and the sizing. So delete the prefix and hit apply. And now it's just going to say 11 ounce, that's way cleaner. Then if you go to accent coffee mug 15 ounce over here, we also need to enter a price for that. So let's change this to 27.99 instead and hit apply. And once again, change the prefix down here and apply that. And there we go. Now the sizing looks clean and ready to go we can now click on preview publish info and this is where you want to save all of these settings that you've just configured as a profile ideally that way in future you don't have to go through all of these steps they will be automatically loaded so save as profile give this a name such as accent mugs 11 and 15 ounce that's what i would call it and then just click save profile and then lastly at the bottom we want to add personalization and you need to give some instructions right here for the customer which can just be something simple as please enter your pet's name you can limit the characters if you don't want people to write entire sentences into this which might be a struggle with your design or your text placement so you could limit this to like 50 characters for example and then you just need to click publish to have all of these listings added to your etsy shop in bulk i'll show you what that looks like there we go it's been added to the job queue and once this is done you will find all of the listings in your drafts folder on your Etsy store. And to quickly show you how to use the publishing profile the next time you want to publish some mugs, all you have to do during the publishing stage right here in the first field is click load profile and choose the right one from the drop down. That is then going to load all the different settings for products, partners, mockups, etc. And yeah, you won't really have to do much. You can still change different aspects of it, but mostly it's going to save you a massive amount of time. And to show you a quick example of what it looks like when a personalized order gets placed on your Etsy store. In this case, all you have to do is head over to the orders section and at the top, you will find a pending order for manual review. There you want to click into the print file, change the name, to the desired one by the customer and then update the print file and approve the order for printing. If you are completely new to my designs and you're feeling a bit overwhelmed and you want a bit of a beginner's guide, make sure to check out this video next where I walk you through everything you need to know about my designs.